Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and uh, today I'm doing my first unpacking video. I received a parcel through the post today from Safecracker33, and uh, by way of sort of thanks to him, and because I'm excited to get anything through the post, um, I thought I'd do a little video on what's inside. Now I've already been through um, this box, uh, just to take anything out of uh, any baggies and such like, so it'd be a bit easier for me to go through, a bit quicker. Other than that, I haven't really had a chance to look at this stuff yet, so uh, let's look at it together. So, what's first up? Um, looks like a lever um, cabinet lock, and this one looks like one too. Um, I can't see a brand on this one, other than the fact it says made in England. And on this one we have a, a Yale, so made in England. Um, it says FKB9554, uh, don't know if that's a, a serial number or um, a, a key part number or something. Uh, and, and maybe there's a key to go with these somewhere. Um, oh, well, this looks like the kind of key that would go with this type of lock. Let's try this one. Um, Okay, I can see some, some of the levers moving here, but it feels a little tight. It probably isn't the right key for this one. It's close, but no cigar. Let's try this one. No, so it um, doesn't feel like that's the right key. For, oh, no, we, we got a close. But yes, so this is the key for this. There we go. So, um, well, clearly I'm not operating it very well because I can't get a consistent open but that's definitely the key to this um, lovely flat cabinet lock uh, they're really great thank you um, yeah there's a few nice cam locks in here uh, these are all wafer locks um, lovely to pick really nice to learn on um, so I never have enough of those thank you save cracker 33 Ah, yes, this is how uh, I first got chatting to Say Cracker. I was admiring this. Um, look at this beautiful little Squire uh, number 33. You can make it out there. Isn't, isn't that a lovely lock? Ah, lovely. Look at this. Lovely little padlock, that one. Um, I can't ignore this one any longer. I mean, just look at how beautiful this key is. So uh, this key belongs to, well, let's just double check. This lovely, uh, what are you? You're a, a Cabba Um That's a great name, isn't it? Uh, made in Germany, a um, some form of safe lock, I, 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 I presume anyway. Um, but I, I don't have any experience with these, but I do know that uh, it's an exciting thing to have in the collection. And uh, I mean, I don't know why all, all keys aren't like this. I mean, I'd so much prefer that on my car keys than, than, than so like this. Um, just, just beautiful, isn't it? And, uh, oh dear, oh dear, look at this. This is a Medico uh, 72S, it says on there. Uh, I'm not an expert with Medicos, um, but I. I do know that they are notoriously um, difficult picks and high security. I don't know what, what version this is. I'll have to do some research, won't I? But I don't know if you can see as well. If you can just look inside um, that keyway, you can already see a deep, sharp serrations on, on the first pin. Uh, I, and oh, it feels like a chisel tip. So it's possibly one of those medicos where you have to turn the pins to the right orientation, um, if you don't have the key, that is, which probably does it for you. So uh, yes, I'll be posting a video uh, picking this Medico uh, probably in the next 10 years time, but what a beautiful lock and, and very, very generous to uh, to pass these on to me. So Safecrack33, you are amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, look at that haul. You can also see that I've been busy today, um, doing a little bit of picking over here, uh, sorting out some um, other locks which are generously given to me by uh, uh, Yukov. Uh, 
while I've got you, let's have a look at picking one of these. And because I don't have much experience with the with wafer locks, um, not, uh, not not wafer locks, sorry, with um, uh, lever locks, as much as I I, I love them and, and want to learn them, I've not quite got there yet. Uh, so I guess by process of elimination, knowing that I I probably years of being able to pick a medico, unless somebody tells me different. We'll try this beautiful little squire. Okay, so we've got um, the vice set up and the camera about the right angle for you guys. I'm uh, just going to uh, try the key and the lock again. There we go, right way up. Lock move, there we go. Um, nice little tight lock. I'm going to try and pick it pins up. Oh. Get that angle just about right. Make sure it's screw all down nice and tight so I don't get any slip in while I'm trying to pick it. And I'm going to use a uh, Sparrow's Euro hook and a very, very, very small, very thin uh, tension wrench down um, opposite the pins here. That should give me enough tension to get by. And uh, try pin one. Nope, doesn't want to go. Pin two, um, feels a bit sticky to pin two, so I don't really want to pick that at the moment. I think if I do, I'll overset it. Uh, pin four, pin three. Nice positive click of that. Um, I think I overset pin one there, I could see it. Uh, sticking at the top, so it starts again, go to the back this time maybe. Pin four and three just went there, pin one, I think, we just went. Uh, pin two, seems solid. There we go. That was um, surprisingly hard uh, to do, actually. This uh, this one, it's um, didn't have an awful lot of uh, feedback and the pin starts a little sticky. It's possible that it's because it's a bit of an older um, padlock. I don't know how old it is. I um, don't know if it's got any date markings on there. No, nothing on there, I don't think. Um, but very nice little padlock, that one. Um, a, a bit tougher pick than um, I would have expected. Okay, see you next time. Thank you.